Hello and welcome to my presentation on Minecraft. This is, I am Alexander Fryer and I have been playing Minecraft for a long time and my dad wanted to give me or let me have this chance to talk about the fun game that I enjoy playing and enjoy watching others play. So um, three of the points that I'm probably going to mention in this presentation are probably going to be how I started in Minecraft, Minecraft Basics and the Minecraft Wiki and how I've learned from or about Minecraft and starting out and well actually my second point is going to be um, what I've learned and that's going to be me going through my world and showing you some of the things I've built and I can do and then I will also talk about, as my third point, Minecraft possibilities and some of the YouTube videos that I watch and see what other people are doing in their Minecraft world. So stay tuned for the chance to see me do this. Although, I'm going to cut away right now. <laughs> so, all right. I hope that you will come away knowing what all the hype about Minecraft is and know what attracts student, students to it and also um, gamers of all ages to the wonderful game called Minecraft. Alright, so right now we are looking in one of the worlds or my newest world that I have built in the latest update of Minecraft. And we are seeing my village, and the villagers are having fun opening and closing doors. Um, all right, but I'm going to go ahead and get back my screen. So this is the normal Minecraft Minecraft icon screen, and it's running very slowly right now. All right, so I'm going to hop down off here. And you heard me take fall damage, but I am very much equipped. So we have my wonderful village right here um, and still being very laggy. Um, but starting off on some Minecraft basics or whatever, or starting off on some Minecraft basics, um, I first started playing Minecraft um, or First, I started watching videos of other people play Minecraft because I really didn't see what it was all about or why I wanted to play it. So, and then, and I watched someone playing Minecraft for long enough and then I finally decided I wanted to get the game. And when I was playing that, um, it was, or, it was difficult to figure out exactly what all the, I wanted to do in Minecraft, so one of the ways I learned was by the Minecraft wiki, and this is the Minecraft wiki here. It, it a wiki is a place where Anyone can edit, um, and it's just a collection of um, different everything you want to know about Minecraft. So one page that would show about mobs or the living game entities, moving game entities, as the wiki says, and these are some of the um, entity or mobs here. You can see our villager and we have very many of those. So Minecraft is a very complex game in that it has lots of different um, hostile mobs or uh, monsters that you have to fight and also different things. So we have the wonderful Minecraft wiki that can teach you about everything. So we'll go back to Minecraft and some of some of the mi first Minecraft basics. Um, I'm going to go down into my storage room, which may be very confusing, but it, 
these are also iron golems. They are supposed to protect my villagers from nasty, dangerous creatures such as zombies. So, but right now I'm going to enter my storage room by breaking my rows and hopping down to the secret tree, which I will talk about how I built that later. But this is my storage room. And for right now, we're going to craft something. So what we're going, well, actually, if you can see my inventory, because in you, when you run around Minecraft, this is my character. And you could also see him if I, nope, wrong button, there. Uh, so that's me right now. Hey, and I'm holding a rose. There, now I have a sword. Uh, so yes, and I am Jango Fett. Star Wars is awesome. All right, um, but inside your inventory, you can collect different things, and like this is iron, which usually comes in pockets of um, four. And I am smelting my iron ore right now, and I'm using coal to smelt it inside of my furnace, and that creates iron ingots. So. Iron ingots are wonderful to make um, helmets and armor. This is an iron helmet that I have crafted, but more better than that is diamond armor, and you can mine for diamond ore when going down in caves. And right now, we are going to craft a diamond pickaxe. Since um, right now you can see the diamond pickaxe I have right now is running low and it is about to die, so. I'm going to get three diamonds, and I'm going to grab some wood. Well, actually, I have wood on me. So, and then we're going to take one block of wood, and then you can see this is our crafting table. And then we take out, and we get the wood planks as a result. And if we put two wood planks um, on top of the other, we get sticks. And two sticks, and three diamonds. So you can sort of see that this crafting recipe um, resembles a pickaxe, and that is exactly what we get out. So now we have just crafted a diamond pickaxe. And one of the fun things about Minecraft, and as you get more advanced or um, continue your game journey, and we'll see if I can get out of my storage room. There we go. Um, is that you are able to, well, there's different things that you can do later in the game, um, and like enchanting and different things, like you can see this is a enchanted diamond pickaxe. But that's some of the most basic Minecraft things, and I'll first show you my cow farm. I am have a feedlot. This is my wonderful feedlot where I have cows, and my iron golems have gotten trapped. So, but the sun is setting on our day in Minecraft right now. So we shall go up to watch the sunset on top of our church. This is actually supposed to be a steeple. So, and all villagers are smart enough to enter their houses at nighttime. Except that guy who is on the roof. And so each day in Minecraft lasts about 15 minutes, but. And so this is the end of that day where the stars come out and it switches color. The graphics in Minecraft are very simple, but yet very elegant in that way also. So, and as the sun sets, so the moon rises. And now we will also see monsters begin to spawn. We can already see a spider out in the distance. We'll probably see a few more begin to pop up around the countryside as it gets dark. Hostile mobs. Oop, you can see a creeper just spawned down there. And I'll go ahead and Crosshair, there's the creeper that just spawned. The creepers are uh, mobs or monsters um, just for Minecraft that Minecraft invented. And they are one of the fun joys. I'm going to go ahead and snipe them out. 
my bow and arrow, test my bow skills. Oh, and he disappeared. W wonderful. All right. Yay, I kill spider. So, this bow is enchanted specially so it can kill some monsters in one hit. So I may have actually killed the creeper. Nope, he disappeared. All right then. And if we come over here to where the spider died, we should... Nope, did the spider disappear too? All right, my game may be also extreme lagging. This is also the Enderman, which is not almost a Minecraft um, created guy. He is a very dangerous monster, but he is hostile, or he is not hostile unless you look at him. But he's, if any of you know who the Slenderman is, that the Enderman is based off the Slenderman, which is interesting. And you can look that up if you care to, but it's an interesting story. And, oh, Creeper, I'm just going to let him blow up. And that's what Creepers do when they hurt you. And they, I'm wearing very nice armor, so they don't really hurt me so much. But then you also have your skeletons and your zombies. Oh, and another Creeper is going to blow up. I will have to clean all of my holes up later. All right, so I think we'll go ahead and go to the next segment now. This is just um, start of a few of the things that Minecraft basics in that what we're showing. And so this is the village. So we'll go ahead and go into what I have built. And we have already seen my very nice village I have created. Villagers love this house for some reason. All right, but if we go ahead and go out, I have five worlds actually. Oh, see, I am somewhere. Yay, okay. So this is another one of my worlds, which is happens to be a giant tower. This is my bedroom. And it, go outside so you can see my giant tower and I fell in my moat. And I built a billboard of a creeper face. Very nice. Alright, so this is my ginormous tower, which used to be the tallest you could make it in Minecraft until they updated it. And now it's not the tallest. So, mm. And I have my cow farm, which is not a feedlot. And I have my one chicken in his farm. Wonderful. And a few sheep and some pigs. And I have pumpkins growing over here. And then a big wheat farm. This is a different wheat setup than I had in my previous world. But it is very nice. So... And I think... Actually, we'll go ahead and go to my test world because that's actually wait is it test world or stuff i think it might be stuff i'm very creative in what i do yep it's stuff okay so this is a creative world which means that you can pretty much do anything you want and the world is only three block thick which means that you have no caves or anything below you and you can build anything you want. So this is kind of where I go to test off. And you can see redstone contraptions. And we can talk about redstone later. But these are all different things I've built. You may have also seen this same tree in my previous world. Because I also built it there. And yes. That's, this is a door design I was messing around with when I was really bored. I don't know. But yeah, so I test around and that's some of the other things that I will personally just have done. And let's see, World 3. I forgot what I built in World 3. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is another one of my, you can hear a bunch of zombies, but this is another one of my 
worlds where it's more of a cave base than anything. I have a bunch of zombies grinding. He dropped an iron sword. And I'm gonna get Yay, now I have a new iron sword. And this is another thing I built. Yay, fancy door. My storage room isn't very large in here though. And so you can definitely see how my Builds have progressed, and I think I actually gave up on working on that. Yeah, so this door is supposed to be like sort of like that, but yeah, and it needs work. So I haven't even finished all my builds yet, but it's fun to mess around. And so not everything works that I've built, but it enjoys. Oh, and I guess we can also talk about caves while we're down here in this we need to eat some bread um this is called your hunger bar down here oh my inventory is very full and i'm wearing leather armor in here since i'm poor in this world <laughs> but you can see the hunger bar here and you need to eat every once in a while to keep up your strength but right now we are sort of out of my base as you could say and we are in a cave where I have started to light things up, or I've lit up things pretty well. And let's see if we can find a pocket of a, mm, some iron that I left behind somewhere. Oh, here's coal. So you can see this is how you normally find coal and iron like this, and then you can mine it out with your handy dandy pickaxe. And so this is how you collect different things. And as you saw in my other world, when we made a diamond pickaxe, diamond pickaxe are a lot better than a stone pickaxe. Diamonds are very special and rare. And so this is this world and hopefully, okay, I do remember where my base was. And I guess for interest's sake, we can look at what, where I am in world four. Let's see if I remember which world this is. Oh, yeah, this world. Okay. I have actually a nice spider XP farm going on here. So hopefully that's not too loud. Actually, I can turn that down. There we go. Oh, sounds so on. Now they shouldn't be quite as loud. But I have that, and then we can come down here, and we have a different kind of setup of farm. So I have a reed farm going here, a pumpkin, and melons! We have melons. Melons are another source of food. And melon. You can eat melons. And I have a giant hole here for growing mushrooms. I'll just grow you a mushroom because... Get some bone meal. Uh, and skeletons will drop bones. And then when you craft, this is also just my smaller crafting table. When you have a crafting table here, it has a 3x3. Three three, um, and you need that to craft most items. But in your inventory, you also have the 2x2. Two two, which you can craft some things, but not too many. So I put down a mushroom. Grow a giant mushroom! Yay, giant mushroom. So, and then I can now harvest my giant mushroom by hitting it with my pickaxe. This is a very efficient pick pickaxe. Alright, so as I said, my builds have gotten a lot more bigger and more creative as I have experience Minecraft because a lot due to the fact that some of the earlier people I watched um, playing Minecraft made cave bases like this and then now some of the people that I watch may are have made different villages and that's just sort of where some of my inspiration has come from and since it was night in this right now, I'll show you. Oh, and a spider got in. 
do. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, and I hear zombies. Oh, I need to light up that roof. Where are the zombies? Oh, no! No! You guys are surprised to see this. This is actually called um, a seed, and it happens like once in a very, 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 very long time where when zombies will spawn in your village. And so you are actually extremely lucky to have witnessed this. Oh, zombie in there too. No, don't kill my villagers. Safe, no, I don't want to kill my villagers either. So, make sure they're all dead. Wow, yay, so you got to see quite some excitement actually. And that's just one of the things that makes Minecraft a very fun game is that you have surprises like that. I had not planned on having that happen, but that was very cool indeed. And we'll go ahead and make it daytime, sleep in my camp bed outside. And now it is daytime. Wonderful daytime. And I'm going to play a music record. Is well, I think I actually have one in here. Yeah. There. No. Nope. Oh, I missed some zombies. Uh oh. Okay, he's dead now. I think there's a zombie up there too. And that is a glitz. Weird glitz. Oh man. Did my zombie kill the villager up here? Darn it. I had spent a long time making sure villager got up here. Oh man. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to take a, another villager up here. Hmm. Because I like seeing them outside on balconies. That is a really weird glitch. So, Minecraft is also not quite the perfect game, but it works very well. So, I think I have talked long enough what I do in Minecraft. We'll go ahead and Oh, also, just one last thing, actually. As you saw me killing monsters and zombies, you may have seen this bar down here go up, and that was my experience level. And you gain a level of experience doing different things, but right now, and you, go, you start off at zero, and I guess we'll actually enchant something, because that's fun to do. So, this diamond pickaxe we made, we're going to put it into our enchanting table and with bookcases around it to make it more powerful. And we get a 28. Where is the torch? There it is. Okay. So now, enchant level 30. And when we get fortune 3, yay! That's actually a really good pickaxe. And that fortune's just something that gives you more of an item like coal. Instead of only dropping one, it drops up to four. So, just another fun Minecraft thing, but that's fun. All right, so now we are leaving my wonderful world of Minecraft. And we shall go, okay. All right, so now we are going to look at redstone and other things that I could never work on but yet some people are a lot more talented than I. All right, so this is by a YouTuber by the name of Code Crafted, and you can read that if you wish, um, but he is a great redstone, which is pretty much the wiring of Minecraft, and this is something that he made, and it's a secret cave, or base entrance and you may recognize it by exactly what I had in my world and that is because I was inspired to build all that super complicated redstone that you can see in the video and so I built that in my world because I he made a tutorial and it is a very fun thing to have in the so CodeCrafted is a great Minecraft YouTuber and another great so that's one thing that's 
fun to do in what in watching um, YouTube or Minecraft on YouTube, but another one is to watch um, videos or LPs, which is um, Let's Plays of Minecraft, and this is one such Let's Play by Vintage Beef, and Vintage Beef is a very interesting guy, as you will see. And one thing that a lot in hey, a guys, lot of these are an annoying cat. commentary. In action, this guy followed me down here. Let's try to get him up. He's driving me crazy. <laughs> so yes, way, guys, um, so a lot of uh, these are some, uh, really very different. Like the they'll idea, like they'll take um the stuff, look at so comments and, and they interact with the people who watch wow, their um, videos so very much, but also I, they I told them um, to stand. They'll and provide he's, commentary he's not, that's not interesting, and so it's almost like watching TV. It is really is, down? but it's about a game that you know cat, of and man? that you can also play. So not, it's, you can cat. play in your own in fact, TV show, that's his name. and it gives on, you inspiration, but that follows me you have his name is very just sit interesting on the couch things. And just chillax, so, dude. Yeah, wonderful cats. <laughs> but Beef's a fun guy, and... He also is one who plays on the Minecraft server, if you see right there. This is one of his later episodes in his series. And this is next video is by a YouTuber named Etho, and Etho's lab is his YouTube. And this is where they're playing actually on a server world, which means a whole bunch of guys all get together to play all on the same video. So you can see all those guys or those players over there are all in the same world right now at the same time at the time of the video. And they're all actually using Skype to talk to each other. So <laughs> that would be a creepy in the background. Um, and they're actually having a trial from one of their people who did something. So Judge Baz is one of the people on the mi or on the Minecraft server. Um, so they all have fun on there, and they all build things on the server. Yes, and yes, it is quite and a wonderful time, I would like to call interaction, and to most of these the are all oh, yeah, older like gamers people. who like to play Can the I game, um, the but Zisto they're all fun to and watch, and it makes things interesting. So, and just on a last note, on some people will like to um, play Minecraft on PvP or player versus player. Um, this, is well, this is one so, this is also 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 Etho the and the, they're fighting so this is on a different server, but they're having player oh, versus man, player like conflicts or whatever yeah, they're, where they're, they're fighting annoying. each other I my sword behind for I was going to die and this in one to get past the wall and Etho's team is trying to attack the people on the wall. So, so you can see him using his bow and arrow to path. shoot them and then trying getting up closer okay, with their sword and eventually track. you can see his health ticking away oh, no. and he jumps out <laughs> <laughs> um, to try and Okay, live and pick, not I die because um, when you die in Minecraft you do respawn but um, it's, next to the you respawn with nothing the, so you have to go back uh, and find your stuff so it is not as attractive if so you go to like um, that is player versus player conflict and just l on last note this is the learning signs dot speed of creativity dot org slash minecraft and all of the videos I have shown will be on this page along with my uh, presentation and so check here if you would like to see these videos again and thank you very much for listening it's been lots of fun and I hope I have given you some different things maybe not inspiration to go play the game itself but it is a lot of fun to do and um, lots of the people are very eclectic so thank you for listening people and thank you